Now what we have right here is one of the one of the many mini bear traps that you'll find all through the central country of Philmont Scout Ranch. Now what is a mini bear you ask? Well, Philmont definitely has their share of bears. And bears can be quite a nuisance when it comes to your food and equipment and whatnot. And so if you leave some smellables in your tent overnight, they're gonna find it. And it's not gonna be very convenient for you. But more so than the bears, out on the land of Philmont, we have the mini bear. They do just as much damage as a bear, they're only minier. And that would consist of certain animals such as the chipmunk, the squirrel, the groundhog, the gopher, the marmot, maybe even a rat. You see, these guys are smaller and cuter than a full-size bear. But when it comes to your adventures in the backcountry, if you're not careful, they can get into your pack and they can really tear up some stuff. Now there are two distinct types of mini bears in the backcountry. On the northern end of Philmont, you have the really smart mini bear, but they're really slow. But in the south end of Philmont, you have the really fast mini bears, but the good news is they're really stupid. So they may be fast, but they're really slow, if you know what I'm saying. Now these two distinct types of mini bears are pretty easy to handle for the Philmont Wildlife Management Team. But in order to keep them manageable, they have to keep them apart. Because you see, if you have the north mini bears interbreeding with the south mini bears, yeah, there's a chance that you'll come up with really slow, really stupid mini bears. But there's also the equal chance that you'll come up with really smart, really fast mini bears. And those are the ones that there is no defense for. So years ago, the powers that be at Philmont decided to construct a series of these mini bear traps all through the central country of Philmont Scout Ranch. And if you think just one trap alone would do it, well, you would be wrong. Because the northern mini bears are very smart, and they know that the southern mini bears are pretty good looking. And so they're gonna do everything that they can to figure out how to get across the mini bear trap. So what they do is they jump up underneath the vehicles, and they hold on to the undercarriage and get safe passage across the mini bear trap. But that's why the mini bear trap is designed like this. It's real bumpy, so it'll shake them off. But sometimes they're able to hold on and make it over the mini bear trap, and that's why they have a series of them through the backcountry. So if they make it across the first trap, and they make it across the second trap, and maybe even the third trap, definitely by the time they make it to the fourth trap, they're going to fall in. Now the southern mini bear, we don't have to worry about too much because although they have the speed and the power to hold on, they're just not smart enough to figure out how to do it. So it is the job of the Philmont Wildlife Management Team to help control the population of all the animals and all the, the natural beauty and the majesty of the backcountry of Philmont. And that's why the mini bears and the mini bear traps are priority number one. And always remember and never forget, only you can make a difference. Welcome to Philmont.